hello hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here as you guys can tell by the title we will be talking about month nine and ten of my sister life journey y'all if you would like all of the details feel free to stick around and we're going to get right to them but before we do that feel free to also thumbs up this video like this video if you like it at the end as well as considering subscribing to my channel we are almost at a year i am so super excited and if you guys watched my previous update videos then you guys know how i've been feeling about my hair which a lot of times has not been positive i have just been really impatient i have been wanting to see that immediate growth that immediate volume all of the things that just are not going to happen when you are on a journey like this one let's be real but this update for month nine and ten is completely different i feel like i woke up overnight and immediately just i was like oh my goodness who is this my hair looks amazing it has dropped it is so thick especially in comparison to month one which i'm going to show you guys a picture of and i'm just blown away about how much growth i have had um, within the well, I would say within the last month, in terms of what I have been been seeing with my hair. Call out would be looking at this angle of myself. Before you can see straight through my hair, straight through my hair like to the wall back there, and now you can't. Like it is so thick that like it's getting to the point where I'm getting that volume that I've always wanted. I'm so excited. Um, another call out would be my side profile. Before you could see my ear through my hair, um, and also my jawline was not covered by hair. So I know I'm getting some length as well because of that, and I know that I my hair has gotten thicker because it's just visibly thick, like it's crazy. Um, also, two weeks ago, I went to my latest retightening appointment, and even my loctician was like, your hair has dropped and it's gotten thicker. So she has noticed it, which just felt so great because she has been maintaining my hair for the past 10 months, and she would be the person to know, if anything, how my hair is doing, how it's progressing, and that just felt so good. The other thing I wanted to, to discuss is um, my hair is itchier in this season. I would attribute that to the season change though. As we enter into fall and winter, skin naturally just changes that way where it, you just get more brittle and dry skin. So I'm literally spritzing my hair with water and my scalp with water every day because I'm just like, oh my goodness, I got the itchies again. It's not as bad as when I first locked my hair, you know, that first phase of itchiness, but it is annoying and it is here for a couple of months so I'm just making sure that I keep my scalp hydrated keep myself hydrated internally as well drinking lots of water um, and hopefully my hair will, will reflect that and stay healthy I am washing my hair still more times than I was in the previous updates or previous months so instead of like I talked about in my last update instead of doing once one wash every five weeks I'm doing either two or three just depending on how my scalp feels um, and like I just said because it feels more dry I'm giving it more washes because I want that moisture in my scalp I want that natural water that natural moisture to hit my scalp help my scalp to just be calm and I don't want to like start scratching my scalp to the point where I start making myself bleed or giving myself cuts things like that because you know that can happen so I'm washing my hair either two or three times within a five week period. My loctician said that that's totally fine as long as I'm braiding and banding, which of course I am. Um, I have not had any significant slippage in any of my locks besides our perimeter locks. This one and this one. These are the ones that consistently will slip out and I have to just, I have my own tool that I put it back in and we're all good there. Those used to give her problems at my retightening appointments, but they have also not done that. So I'm hoping that those will start to lock soon so that I don't have to worry about them constantly coming out. Um, other than that, my regimen has not changed one bit. I am not adding any different or new chemicals to my hair. I still use her lock, sister lock shampoo. And I'm just using a few droplets of essential oils in my spray bottle to spray my scalp on a daily basis and a really light oil that my loctician suggested to me months ago. Really all I got guys. I hope to see you guys 
on my Instagram, which will be right here in, in addition to in the description box below. And I'm on TikTok, so you guys can check me out there as well. I said that I would do more lock updates on TikTok, but I just... I've done a couple, I just haven't done as many as I have done here on YouTube. So let's connect on the other socials, okay? Let me follow you, you guys follow me. Let's see what each other's up to um, in between these lock updates. I'm going on vacation in a couple of weeks, so I may record a video of what I do to my hair. I'm thinking some box braids over my locks, so we'll see. Um, I kind of want to do like a knotless braid style. So I'm going to see what I want to do and what my vibe will be like, but stay tuned for that video. And again, I look forward to seeing you guys on the other socials before my one year update, which will be in December. So you guys will have that then. And in between there, I might do some travel videos, some other things as well. But I am so grateful for all of you guys tuning in. Thank you for being here with me on this journey. I look forward to seeing where this journey goes um and thank you guys for all of the very sweet kind comments that you've been leaving under my videos it really makes my day take care and have a great great rest of your year